The term Art Nouveau is used to describe the sinuous whiplash style inspired by nature, which was popular in the worlds of art, design, and architecture beginning around 1895. While Art Nouveau is the definition most often heard today, in the late 19th century a wide number of phrases were used, depending upon the unique characteristics of each region. For example, in France, Art Nouveau was often called Mucha style after the celebrated poster artist. But the term that stuck came from a seller of modern home furnishings and visually revolutionary artworks and objects. The legendary shop L'Art Nouveau Bing, truncated by the public to the shorthand of Art Nouveau or the New Art Style. In Italy, the term Steel Liberty or Liberty Style was used after the British shop Liberty and Company, a purveyor of fine arts and crafts items. And in Germany, mesmerizing artworks by the most innovative illustrators of the day were published in a magazine titled Jugend, the German word for youth. For this reason, in Germany and Austria, the exciting new art style was known as Youth Style or Jugendstil. Germany's exploration of Art Nouveau, perhaps more than any other country's version of this movement, took root in the mythological foundations of their rolling countrysides and coursing waters. Centaurs, mermaids, witches, and all manner of strange creatures were omnipresent, and the style in general explored a sense of connectedness that had more in common with cautionary fairy tales than an ivory tower idealism. The connection with the earth in Jugendstil illustrations appears more tangibly earned, and the lines seem to suggest a heavier sense of experience. In Jugendstil, the worlds portrayed seem less an idyllic fantasy than a remembrance of a time when these connections were far less taken for granted, but which, through this remembrance, could be celebrated and lived again.